In this video, we'll focus on the bigger picture from personal forgiveness to world peace. It doesn't take much for you to be aware of all of the unhappiness in the world today. And the reason behind all this unhappiness is the lack of understanding and forgiveness. Now, imagine a world where people are able to show empathy and understanding. Don't you think this is a much better place to live in? According to a recent study done on the rate of happiness of countries from all over the world, Norway, Denmark, and Iceland come up as the happiest nations. The Norwegians, Danish, and Icelandic are all nations that are close to nature. They know all about respecting nature and the environment. Schooling is free, and healthcare is also universally accepted as being very good. However, that wasn't the only criteria. Something different came into play that was every bit as important, and that was freedom of choice. Trust and generosity were also among criteria for finding the happiest country in the world. It is found that the least happy nations of the world were those involved in political turmoil, war, and poverty. Jealousy, greed, and all the other negative feelings that people go through actually unbalance the state of happiness and security. People want more and are perfectly willing to tread over others to get it. Then compare this with the world that has left us. Watching TV programs such as Little House on the Prairie take us back to a time when people's wants and needs were less, but there was less need for social acceptance. If you were poor, then it was okay, because someone has to be on the poor end of the scale. If you were rich, you were perhaps respected because of the status of your life and the positive impact you had on people in your community. So how can we address the balance? How can we forgive on a national scale? The answer lies in being as true as you can to your own beliefs while making space in your mind for the beliefs of others. We need to learn toleration. We need to learn all about other religions and other races. We need to broaden the spectrum of our lives to be able to put things into perspective. If you haven't thought about how lack of forgiveness is making your life miserable, then you need to look at life from a different perspective, that of compassion. No, we can't save the world from all the wrongdoings, but we can change ourselves and lead by example. In today's world, through social media, the petty jealousies and the closed-mindedness of the human race are laid out for all to see. You have a choice. You can decide for yourself to learn and forgive life for being so contradictory, or you can go with the crowd. The bigger picture is that life is much more complex than that, but so much more simple when you learn the power of forgiveness. When you learn to forgive, you become more compassionate. It can lead you down the path of peace and healing. You learn to let go and move on. You see the value of forgiveness and its importance in your life at a given time. If you're looking forward with dread, it is equally relevant that you are missing out on the opportunities in your life. All over the world, people are suffering. It was the intention of the original Buddha to try to teach people to walk away from their suffering and learn a new way. Forgiveness is an important part of a full and healthy life. It enables you to begin to build a foundation for your life. A foundation built upon negative thoughts is like building a house in quicksand. You can't do it. If you continue to walk through your life without rectifying the things that you've done wrong, you carry all that burden with you. If you learn to forgive, you build a solid foundation that can help people around you and trust who you are. Today, we see postings on Facebook where people are judgmental and critical of each other. Tomorrow, we could see hope being spread like it's grass seed in a big wind but it's really up to each individual to start 
the process. Social media is a powerful way to spread happiness and share positive views. This is what the world needs now. With natural disasters, fires, and loss of life, it's hard to remain stoic, but we have no choice. We cannot change these incidents that come up on TV each day of our lives, but each one of us can change that little part of history that is our lives. When you learn to forgive, you lead others by example. Never underestimate the power of forgiveness. It is the key to your happiness. It is as simple as that. If you can write down all the people you need to forgive and then make an active choice to forgive, you will feel better about your life. Not only that, you'll begin to notice that your life is changing for the better. Keep on spreading good, positive vibes to people around you. Make the world a better place. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.